Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video Answer. so that that is going to be your uh, monthly tarot reading for april and uh should you enjoy the content on the channel and you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe hit the notification bell so you do not miss uh, our videos and as well live streams and uh with that said let me just uh finish the shuffle here and make the cut and see what's kind of experience you're going to have through the month of april so the first card for you cancer uh, that is going to be uh, the queen of cups uh, here followed by the second oh my god of the king of cups uh moving next uh, we do have the six of wands and uh, the final one that is going to be the ace of swords okay so these are the four, the, the uh, four prime cards that we have for you. Uh, 
you are that that is with a love incentive there is no other way to look at it let's check on the next one yeah that is yes it is Yeah, it's with a love incentive it is just uh it seems that you are to attach really really strongly to somebody okay hopefully uh if you are in a relationship right now hopefully that attachment speaks to the person that you are with because it's uh, very possible that you may attach yourself to a uh, someone else okay just very very possible uh so we do have these two here queen of uh queen of cups and the page of cups as a, a topic of uh, of your month cancer and uh, because it's a general reading I'm just gonna say about career really fast because the rest is just with a romantic incentive these cards here are showing uh, all of the cards here in terms of career are a showing that you are going to start doing work that you will really going to enjoy and the beauty of it is that you are not going to be concerned at that point how much this work is going to pay off to you because the work itself is going to be pay off on its own okay that, that, that just if you for example love to help people the job is going to involve that and you despite of how much the job pays you you will love the job itself because you're helping people it's just that is how uh, the, the thing is going to unfold in uh, the month of um in the month of april but at the end uh, here of the month in terms of a career you are going to have that wake up that at the end of the day you also have to eat something you know and thus that will push you into demanding a bit more however love wise it is a completely completely different story that we do have so like i said you are going to have a huge emotional connection to someone uh, it could be somebody you already know and i do believe that's the case but it could be also as a general reading somebody brand new and the thing it is that with this person um it's not about a material a, a material how to put it into words it's not about the material comfort that you are gonna seek from that person the material comfort we can see here actually is going to work to a detriment okay uh more that you are gonna seek from this individual it is a emotional understanding and stability as well and what this is going to allow you to do and not just only to you but also to the person that you are falling in love with again you can start falling in love with the person you are with right now loving them even more than what you are loving them right now but once you do start falling in love with this individual here that we do have um it's just things you made no compromises beforehand it will feel irrelevant it, it, it's kind of like it's go you you will want to make compromises with those aspects okay for example you never made compromise with how someone uh, dress okay but uh, and you demanded that your partner always dress with with um, with suits let's call it that way okay but now you wouldn't care how they dress it is because that emotional pull that emotional attachment you both are gonna have make all of these uh, mundane you know criteria completely unnecessary it is just it makes them redundant obsolete so to speak and uh, the beauty of it, it is that both of you will be able to put in each other's shoes walk a mile and, and backwards and just even though you may not have ever been in a similar situation as they are or as you are okay you will feel for each other it's just you are going to understand each other it, it's going to be such a beautiful experience now because we don't have a major arcana here you can i i need to warn you right away because we don't have a major arcana here you can totally miss that okay for example you can stack this one in the friendship zone and, and that will be pretty much over okay it's just it's pretty much gonna kill everything you can as well because you you seek more material comfort that we can see here you can totally miss this one 
you say okay it's a great person okay but actually they cannot offer me money because i know there are such people you may not be like that but i'm just have to say it because it's a general reading you may miss him okay or you know it's a great person but he doesn't have a good job he can't pay bills so i don't know no so uh, the, the, these things they are just a temporary uh, how can i put it into words a temporary phases into thy life and therefore that is subject to a change what doesn't change it's this it's the understanding that you both are going to have toward one another the emotional connection you know the feeling the the the, the, the discreet stance meaning that you both are going to be very discreet with one another and that is going to allow you to build up a lot a lot extreme a tremendous amount of trust okay and it just is going to feel like uh, th this isn't the soulmate it's more like a simultaneously someone who loves you as a, a, a man or a woman and as a friend as well it's, it's just a something priceless and also these cards here what incentive they give it is that together you will be able to face the ups and downs because there are going to be such not within that relationship but from life in general much more easy together rather than facing them on your own or with somebody else whomever that else is so <clears throat> we can see here that that is going to be a love month for you cancer unfortunately a month that you can miss this big chance for you and how you're going to miss it, let's talk about here, if you are to miss it, how this is going to happen. Well, it, it comes that way. Um, now, with these two cards, with these two kings, uh, that is a king, or rather like this person, will offer you that one chance. Should you deny it right away, because, for example, you are indecisive, you are uncertain, okay, or you just don't know what to make of it, they are not going to make a second approach uh, by a large margin. It's just this is a one time offer, take it or leave it. And if you do decide to leave it, the offer does, is not going to come around anymore. Another thing, though, it is that that person has a certain expectations. Uh, what I mean is that they will invest their emotions into you and they will require a similar investment. That should not be much of an obstruction by the look of the first cards because if you do go down that road, you will not going to have any problem whatsoever investing back into, uh, into that individual as well. But they may be a little bit or, or it will look like that they are a uh, possessive it's like they are uh, their emotions are going to be very very overwhelming and uh, at some point you may kind of have that um, incentive or rather like a wish to spend time on your own but they're not going to feel very well if you go and spend some time on your own it's not like they're going to make any obstruction whatsoever but it is just it will uh, for them it will feel like they are not doing a good job predisposing you emotionally and that's why you want to go and spend time on your own so they're going to feel like useless that that's uh, that's the point here other than that, not much from these uh, two kings when it comes to uh, when it comes to love. Uh, make sure that uh, how can I put it into words that the behavior is reciprocal. If they give you ignorance, you you go for ignorance. If they give you love, you you go for love. That that is if you do want things to work out in between you two. Uh, what is going to help you throughout the month here to really cashing into your uh, situations? We have the Six of Wands and the uh, Knights of Pentacles into that position, these two cards, okay? Uh, and with them, uh, what is going, uh, what truly is going to work into your benefit? It is, uh, how can I put it into words? Your past achievements, let's put it that way. So, uh, what these two cards here are pointing, it is that even if you do, even if you may feel that you are in experienced into the uh, enterprises not just only love enterprises but any kind of enterprises into your environment actually you do have enough of experience to back your actions up and as well to feel proud of your uh, of your accomplishments and by the way throughout this month you may kind of like be a victim of rewards uh, for the lack of a better word it's just people will want to reward you with something whether gifts okay whether uh, some kind of a bonuses at work uh, whether 
uh, some kind of an attention and so on and so forth and that is because people recognize you uh, as a uh, valuable asset whether to your friendship circle uh, whether to the business that you are working into or in this uh, romans that we do have here into thy life and therefore you should feel proud of that and you should act accordingly you should not deny those gifts that are coming your way for a reason that there is no need for you to deny it whatsoever and with the knights of pentacles here uh, that kind of speaks that this is going to excel you further than you uh, than you should be okay that is like a, a, <clears throat> a slingshot in your life whether career wise or a weather relationship wise uh so yeah it's it's uh as uh, with these two cards uh, this month is gonna offer you quite a lot of peak of experiences that you you personally i think though personally i think that you should take full advantage of them and uh finally here as the month closes up uh, we do have the ace of swords with the three of swords so these cards uh, are gonna play out differently depending on what you did with the romans Okay, so uh, if you do took the Romans in, <clears throat> okay, let's start with if you do deny the Romans. So, so if you do deny the Romans, unfortunately, these two cards here are speaking about pain, speaking about that you will realize at the end of the month or somewhere around that time that you actually missed a huge um, opportunity to be loved. Okay. Uh, it's just you not just only that you have deprived yourself but you also deprived someone else from happiness that is how they play out uh if you do too though on the love opportunity now these uh, two cards are playing more a, a role of a healing what i mean is that because we are not all perfect okay and everybody has their own afflictions and virtues and you may not like certain aspects into that person here especially you know the fact that they are not a very emotional when it comes to uh, displaying their love in public and also they are a one-time shotter so what i mean is that they ask once and they never ask second time uh, <clears throat> You fully understand that that is a part of their character and although you may not like it, it's something that you have to live with and because it is a catalyzed by the, uh, this is the catalyst of the Three of Swords, because the prime energy, it is the Ace of Swords, that card here instead of showing the truth which you are going to be fully aware, here actually shows the strength of your spirit that you will, it's not like learn to live with those things, it's more like align them to your life so you can uh, you can make them part of it and actually to your benefit rather than something that is going to aggravate you every single day and uh, i do believe that together you will become a great match so if you ha don't have any love incentive right now be prepared to face one if you do have one and um, you never give the woman or the man a chance maybe that's going to be the month where you're going to change that okay or if that's uh, somebody you're already in relationship you can expect things to get better and better right so that was your uh, monthly tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and we are to see each other next time until then bye